Hi, my good lem friend. Today, Hikaru Nakamura and Espanko played against each other in Fide Grand Prix tournament to fight for a spot in candidate. And as you know, Hikaru is famous for his social uh, medias and his streaming, as well as he's one of the fastest players in the world. And he didn't play for the past two years. And after two years, first game, he played Berlin with black pieces and ended in quick draw. Second day uh, against Espenko, he plays English. Again, it's not a aggressive opening and you don't expect it from aggressive player like Hikoro to start so slowly. But this game has tactical shot, beautiful tactical shot that you expect from Hikoro. We will get to that. Uh, this is English a standard and we go forward. We fast forward to opening to reach the end of opening. Here is almost the end of opening. Svango makes a strange move here. Knight D4. I, I didn't get why. Not usually the idea in, uh, in English opening with black against English with black is to gain some space in queen side. Not moving pieces twice. Anyways, he brings the knight in and Hikaru simply takes the knight and attack the bishop. Bishop goes back and Hikaru says, I want to have bishop pair. Svengo says, okay, I will attack your e-pawn and Hikaru defends the e-pawn and Next, a strange move of Sibenko appears here. D3. I mean, just simply take the pawn. I, uh, this pawn on D3 has no defender. Uh, only queen is defending. And you cannot bind the queen to draw out the game to defend this pawn. You may bring the bishop to defend it. But then, uh, anyways, it's just a weakness. You need a piece to defend it. So, Nikaro progresses more world and Spanko develops the knight with the um, with the turret and finally we arrive to a position you may say that why at this position uh, the, okay the Spanko developed the queen you may say that as in this position why uh, didn't fork Spanko didn't fork the queen and rook because then this is a mating threat and you cannot win this rook, you will lose the game. And if you don't win it and uh, try to defend it, then you lose the game again. Anyways, at this position, uh, Fikor simply develops the queen. Spanko, uh, the, 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 sorry, Spanko develops the queen. Hikaru takes the knight to get rid of possible forks and improve his pawn position, pawn formation. Finally, we arrive at, um, to a position that both sides uh, use uh, try to double the rooks and uh, exploit uh, power of the rooks and queens together. And at this position, what how you want to uh, continue? You have a semi-open file as a white. You have a semi-open file here, two rooks there, and how to use it? Yes, you should sacrifice a pawn for this purpose kick the bishop away and once in the second pawn you can grab the c pawn but hikaru didn't hurry to grab it because he said that i want to con take control over sevens and eight rank so i want to eliminate one of the rooks and then takes back the missing pawn and look at the structure d3 pawn d3 is a permanent weakness in black camp and additionally, double pawns b7 and b6 are very weak. So Espenko tries to defend it, and it means that white is just much, much better at this position. Espenko tries to defend the 7th rank. If he moves the queen away, Hikaru takes the b pawn, and, and that's the end of the game. But Hikaru managed to... Uh, win material some pawns here very nicely let's see okay goes back rank check and what do you do do you repeat the position or what here is a beautiful move of Hikaru can you guess that hint is with bishop yes bishop takes a pawn 
Es Ipanko has to take this bishop, otherwise if you move the queen, then it's the end of a day. If you take it with the queen also, it's the end of a day, because takes with the queen, and then I don't know what you do, you can take the rook, or if if you take the queen, then takes your rook, and this is again end of a day. So, Esipenko had no choice but to take the pawn, the bishop. Now Esipenko is up a bishop and down a pawn and has a very bad pawn instruction. Can you help Hikaru to win the b5 squared bishop? So, first Hikaru gives a check and Esipenko goes forward. Let me tell you what happens if Esipenko goes backward. Here is there is a very beautiful, beautiful move, silent move. Queen b4. Attacking bishop, attacking queen. What can you do? If you go, for example, here, we just simply take, take, for example, that's it. And this is just some example. It uh, could play, uh, it could play even better. Mm, if you take it, we will first take and then we are up a lot. So for that reason, Esbenko didn't go backward with the king. No, I stayed close to the queen to defend the queen. But Hikaru simply take the rook and then goes to b4 again with check and wins the bishop. And uh, Hikaru improves the king position. Spanko offers queen exchange. If on the exchange queen, uh, Spanko is very happy, but of course, Sikoro is not the here to give up a completely winning position and simply grabs the weakness of Spanko, d3 pawn. Now, Sikoro has several pass pawns and it's almost impossible to defend it. Connected pass pawns, it's almost impossible to defend it. And um, Spanko tries to resist a little bit, but he couldn't manage to respond to all attacks of Hikaru and after few moves after pawns of Hikaru developed too far forward here king of Spengo is basically locked yeah, could be checkmated soon and Spengo resigned at this position Hikaru is leading his group at this by this win and we will see what happens in the future don't forget to like and subscribe if you like to see such contents See you guys.